Wings 3. Free internet games to the max. Sun Studios. I've been in there based in Cali. Tell me an epic story. One more time. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, now it makes sense. Okay. There's yeah, so a Red Moon is an optional game you can play. I'm guessing it's just her and Limbo. Soundtrack to these games always so chill. Especially the later ones. The early ones are kind of like, just rock music. <laughs> kind of like rocking smells. We're getting some RPG elements here. It's not even funny. I'll tell you how in a second once we get there. Yeah, just a quick note though, you have to take note of how many of those slots there are. And basically how many points it takes to kind of activate each slot. So basically it's 500 points per slot until you can select a special attribute place. Really, really crucial that you increase those um, first slots first. But uh, I'll tell you how to cheese it in a minute.
Yeah, because once you do that, this game becomes very, very, very simple. <laughs> yeah, right now I'm kind of playing on hard mode because uh, I didn't know. But now that I know, I'll pass on what I know to you guys so you know it'll benefit the future. It'll make your lives a whole lot easier if you like decide to play this. Also take note when he punches, he stands in one place, but when he swings his sword, he moves around a lot. Or he moves forward a lot. So standing. So when he's punching, he stands in one place. When swinging the sword, he kind of moves with it. It's a good thing to take note on. Also, he can attack while he's in the air. Well, unless you like a lot that ability, but... Yeah, and this game is a lot, it's just situational based. And he does have a double jump, so that's alright. <laughs> that's why you had a bird. <laughs> Yeah, so in order to switch out, all you're doing is pressing W and then just move around the bird with the arrow keys. And then to pick stuff up the bird, you just press A. That's pretty much it. There's no uh, ZXC as like in um, Arm Wings 2. I call this the game like wings for short, like arm with wings. You're trying to say that in a sentence really fast because I talk kind of fast. It's uh, a bit you know, not tiresome, but I can kind of get like as I guess I kind of slur some words, but you know. This AI is waking out because I'm here. <laughs> You need to train with your sword, boy. You need your sword. Yeah, because honestly, this guy is, I think, throughout the franchise so far, he's the single most powerful character ever. <laughs> because of what he can do. And what he can learn, basically, too. He may be even more powerful than the Vandier Lord himself, but that is yet to be seen. In this world, there exists a creature with godlike powers. Okay, so now we're at that section. So, if you want to make your character completely OP, basically just, uh... I'm just going around for a few hits until you get his life part to about 1%. Then let him kill you. And then basically, this is a repeat the process. Because basically, in this game, your XP stacks. <laughs> and so, if he kills you, you keep your XP that you have from your prior session. And then you fight him again, get more XP, let him kill you. Keep that XP that you have from that session. Then basically, rinse and repeat until you get like enough XP to kind of max yourself out. Yeah, right now I'm doing kind of a stupid thing of killing him off the bat because I didn't know <laughs> that you could do that until a little bit later, but, you know, that kind of resolved itself. But, yeah. Yeah. This is the stupid thing to do. Do not kill him on your first try. Let him kill you. Like, several times. <laughs> It was a mistake saying I wish I could play as you <laughs> because your, your game is super hard. <laughs> it's 
so were she and Hawk and Fang or something? Probably were. Nice. Who the hell are you? My name is Gaz. I've come to seize this land. That on my watch, buddy. Go to hell. Mokuba, no! Mokuba, I'll, oh, damn. I'm not going crazy. Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> There's a dog in the background. He knows not Yu-Gi-Oh. Guys and the soldiers have taken everyone. Damn. I'll get them back. Someday. Somehow. The mark of a speedrunner jumping. <laughs> Man, where is this asshole? Come on. I need to get more powerful. I need more power. Like Vegeta and Goku. Kakarot, give me your power! See, now, if you're playing this game the smart way, you would have grinded off that first boss. And you would have had about maybe around 10,000 XP to kind of play around with. And with that 10,000 XP, you can actually max this character out. In the right ways. Don't put it in life. Don't put it into special abilities. Because basically, there is a workaround to that as well. And the sub menu of that um, blacksmith menu. And yeah, kind of makes it redundant. So I'll show you guys in a second once the uh, menu comes up. Oh yeah, learn karate! You can kick it with more ass and more style. This is Wing Chun. Practice, come on, hit me. Alright, so in this menu, basically increase your damage all the way to max. That would be 5, 5, maybe 2500 XP, speed, max that out is 2500 XP, so 5000 XP. Look at you there, 10,000 actually will kind of max everything out because everything's like 500 in this page. Now, on boosters, basically, there's a booster that actually negates the special <laughs> because it recharges it. So, yeah. So save up your XP, get the booster for uh, recharging your special ability, and basically get the booster for recharging your health, and basically you become unstoppable in this game. Plus the max damage and max speed, yeah, you run like sh you are here basically just everywhere. Then there's an ability that can make you teleport, but, uh, yeah, that's kind of hard to get. <laughs> so I was like, fuck that. Now, these special moves, they're really cool, but they use up all of your damn bar if you use them, like, in the wrong place at the wrong time. Except the ones that, like, drain your bar slowly, you want those to be kind of your uh, bread and butter. Because they'll help you out a lot more than the uh, ones that take the entire thing. Because your bar takes forever to fill back up. Please place your bud here to use them as a step stool. And again, first time playing a PC game, so uh, yeah, I'm a bit sloppy on the controls. <laughs> With each game, I'm getting better at recording and playing. Or should I say playing and recording because yeah. Because recently I discovered my computer can go full screen online. <laughs> and yeah, so I kind of solved the issue of the uh, little border thing. 
that I run most of these videos that I capture on with Flash games. So yeah, that's getting a bit better. That's getting better situated. And with this, there's actually a way to glitch Leo up to where he needed to be, just with the bird. You have to place it kind of differently. Then you have to go up. Not not up, up like that, but you know, up into the spikes, and then he like the bird resets himself. And while the bird's resetting himself, Leo kind of glitches into um, the frame to keep up with the bird. So, yeah. And see, no one attacks the bird, so basically you can just scatter on the entire level if you wanted to. And see all the bullshit you have to deal with. <laughs> Another exploit of the game. This is why everyone needs a UAV. And just touch the spikes. S to make the bird stay in that position and then there we go. No, no shit. Come on, just grab the ledge. <sighs> You're just like your mother. Yeah, that's another jab at Red Moon. <laughs> yeah, because an armor wings too. I was about that. I was nearly tearing that game apart. You know, criticizing it. There we go. Glitched him up there. So uh yeah, so I I almost tore that game apart. Playing because of one level in general. Fuck that, level. Fuck that level. It's like halfway in the game. But, oh my god, yeah. So, like, these games are supposed to run for like 30 minutes at most. And it's like, yeah, if one level costs you to make like fresher, you, you know, no, I, I'm gonna stop talking about it. I'm gonna stop talking about it because I'm starting to ramble and slur, and then nobody really understands what I'm saying because I'm trying to force out a bunch of thoughts and they're running together. Try and navigate this bird through a pit of spikes. Oh, jeez, thanks. You took away the floor. You assholes. How am I gonna cross now? Uh, okay, there we go. Behold the purpose of the bird. <laughs> the bird as a stepping stool. Just lower just slightly so. That way you can actually uh, get up there. Oh, need a little bit lower. A little bit lower, Leo. One day you will learn how to control this thing. <laughs> but today is not that day. Well, at least you're thinking about it in the right way. Just position the bird closer to the damn place you gotta jump to. It's all bloody simple. What, what, what are you doing? Uh, e. Are you trying to see if you know what I'm doing? It's like trial and error. That's how I learn shit. This is what makes me the. Ugh. There we go. Wall jumping. It's so easy. Anybody can do it, right? Wrong. And Red Moon, you get actually uh, reverse trip wall. Jumping snack. Wall jumping is not as easy in that game as it is in other games. Let's put it like that. <laughs> yeah, that's a reason why they, uh, al the developers allocated one of the uh, actual combat keys as a jump button. <laughs> At first I thought that was weird, but then when you see how they utilize it, it's like, oh, it makes sense now. <laughs> I 
Although if you're good at good, good with using your arrow keys, I guess you can do it that way too, but yeah. Eh, no. First gotta drag that down. Like press W, move up, then press A to grab onto that shit. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is this? There we go. Now press S, run right through, press W, press W. Now you press A. Ace to release. Actually, the bird can glitch through a lot of stuff because basically the bird is kind of a immortal object. So, yeah. However, if the bird does manage to glitch through a lot of things, basically it kind of makes the game act a little wonky. <laughs> so you have to be careful when you do it. Otherwise, you might glitch yourself to the level, and nobody wants that. Excellent work, boy. Please proceed. See, when the game keeps itself simple, everything works really, really well. And it's only when the developers try to get a little creative with the level design that uh, things start to go wrong. <laughs> Use the bird to fly up. There we go. And S. Go through. Now press W. Excellent work. You are learning, disciple. You're gonna need that in the future. And, uh, yeah, uh, be careful not to fly too far from the level, because you might get lost. <laughs> it's just like the crow! Actually, it's a lot like the crow, because basically all these people were dead at one point in time, and then they came back. However, some had birds something. Oh, look at this guy. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I'm just, I'm just scouting out stuff, you know, looking for things. Oh, we got a spike pit. Okay, okay. This is a boss arena. Okay. It's a bit of a nice arena. Just got some trees. Let's see if I can land on your sword. Oh, uh, no. No, I can't land on your sword. But I'm staring you in the face, though. How you doing? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, okay. I'm going to kill you now. Oh, yeah, another spike pit. Ooh, okay, so... Yeah, see where this is going. <laughs> and if you want to, too, you can grab this guy as well, but... Yeah. Let the villagers go! These villagers will be contributing to... The oh, God. <laughs> yeah. How would you guys read that? It's not as fun as the normal thing that one talks about. Gas! Just kicking your ass into the spike pit. You go. What the hell? This is transmission down. You teleport. Like seriously, how can these people not teleport and I don't? Some kind of bullshit. Oh shit, Chitori! You know, I'm tired of she looks kinda hot. <laughs> yeah, just 
Just saying. As are the villagers. Who the hell is that? Sephiroth! What? This is your world. Ten, 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 ten. You dare raise your sword against me, boy. <laughs>